afternoon. Welcome. Welcome. Welcome and thank you for joining me for this half hour of prayer. My name is Julia Cody. I'm the Rural Dean in Treasel. And the Diocese of Litchfield has set aside 24 hours for prayer. That 24 hours began at 12 noon today, continues through to 12 noon tomorrow. Hopefully you're familiar now with Shaping for Mission, the, the process currently taking place across the diocese to strengthen our life of discipleship, vocation and evangelism, while facing a significant reduction in financial income, working together as people of hope to make our mission sustainable in helping fulfil our diocesan vision. This Shaping for Mission process is taking place through deaneries as they provide an area small enough to be local and large enough to allow for creative, prayerful imagination and dreaming for the future. Each deanery is being asked to discern the mission for its area. And here in Treasel Deanery, we've got a wonderful Shaping for Mission team with representatives from each benefice and team. And we've been meeting together regularly, both online and more recently in person. We've completed a full review of our deanery, giving us a pretty realistic understanding of our deanery. And over recent weeks, have been praying and discussing as we seek dis to discern God's vision for our deanery as we go forward. Having worked hard together on this exciting and challenging process, we're just about ready to hand over our vision to the senior staff in the diocese for them to consider and determine how to put it into action. It's exciting and challenging and it needs prayer. And today is all about prayer. Churches, schools, chaplaincies, everyone across the diocese has been invited to join this 24 hours of prayer as we pray for the fulfilment of our diocesan vision in each context. In 1 John chapter 5, verse 14, we read, This is the confidence we have in approaching God, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. Prayer is a foundation of our faith, underpinning all that we do, and so we are called together to pray. So over the next half hour, there'll be sections with suggestions as to focus for prayer and then space for silent prayer or to pray aloud where you are and there'll be some music interspersed between these times of prayer. All of the music uh, to listen to is recorded by the choristers of St Martin in the Fields in London. So as we begin this half an hour within the 24 hours of prayer let me pray the diocesan vision prayer. As we follow Christ in the footsteps of St Chad, we pray that the two million people in our diocese encounter a church that is confident in the gospel, knows and loves its communities, and is excited to find God already at work in the world. We pray for a church that reflects the richness and variety of those communities. We pray for a church that partners with others in seeking the common good, working for justice as a people of hope. And so as this time, this half an hour section within the 24 hours begins, we're going to listen to a version of the hymn, Father, hear the prayer we offer. Thank you. 
Father, hear the prayer we offer. Not for ease that prayer shall be, but for strength that we may ever live our lives courageously. May our souls in hope unweary make thy work our ceaseless prayer. Loving God, we thank you for the gift of prayer for our relationship with you. Help us to live our lives courageously for you. Please give us strength to make our work our ceaseless prayer as we take time now to give thanks, to give thanks for our relationships with you, for each other in our diocese, for each other in our deanery, for your faithfulness and mercy each day, and for this opportunity before us now. And so we take some time of quiet in which to give thanks to God.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we continue in prayer, as we continue to seek to discern God's vision, we're going to listen to a favourite hymn of many of us, Be Thou My Vision. Be thou my vision, O Lord of my heart. Be all else but naught to me, save that thou art. Be thou my best thought, by day or by night, both waking or sleeping, thy presence, my light. Lord of our hearts, we pray that you would once again be our vision. May all else be as nothing to us, save you. Lord, may we love you with all our heart, mind, soul and strength. And may we love our neighbours as ourselves. May you be first in our hearts. As we seek a renewed vision for our deanery, Lord, please lead us. Help us to seek you, to listen to your spirit, to hear your promptings as we seek the way forward, to understand what it means to be your people, your church in this generation, to be open to you speaking through our ideas and imaginations, to be creative and courageous, to understand what it means to gather 
what it means to share your good news. Please give us openness and boldness as we seek you. Give us creativity and courage. And so in this next time of quiet, let us ask God to help us as we continue to hone the vision we believe God has given us and as the senior staff reflect on this and how best to implement it. Let us pray. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And as we go into this third chunk of prayer, we listen to the the wonderful Teze chant, In the Lord, I'll be ever thankful. Thank you. 
In the Lord, I'll be ever thankful. In the Lord, I will rejoice. Look to God. Do not be afraid. Lift up your voices. The Lord is near. Lord, we lift our voices to you today. We pray for the opportunity before us as a deanery. We pray for our clergy serving across the deanery, for readers and lay ministers, for PCC and DCC members, for all who serve our church communities in myriad ways, for our Archdeacon Julian and the other Archdeacons, for our area Bishop Clive, for our diocesan Bishop Michael. We pray for all the members of our church families. We pray for our own families. We pray for our neighbours in our streets, for our communities and for all who serve our communities, for ways to share God's good news with them now. We pray for creative ideas for us, God's church, to take the good news into our communities, for the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us as we seek to reach out to our communities. And so in these final few minutes of silence and quietness, we take the time to pray for church leaders, for church members, for our mission to reach out to our communities now and in the weeks and months ahead.
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so as our Saviour taught us, we pray together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And as our time comes towards a close for this section, let me pray the Shaping for Mission prayer. Generous God, you have provided for your people in every generation. In our faithlessness, you remain steadfast. In our obsession with scarcity, you provided abundance. In our anxiety, you offered us freedom from fear. In our despair, you gave us hope. We receive your gifts, believe your promises and trust you for the future. May we cease trying to fix the church and join with you in loving your world. May we hear your call to fullness of life and share it with others. May we be shaped by the good news of Jesus, the light of the world, and may we seek your kingdom as people of hope. Amen. Well, thank you for joining me for prayer for this half hour of the uh, 24 hours of prayer. And um, I encourage you to continue to pray. Um, and um, as we close this little section, I'm going to play John Rutter's Gaelic Blessing. Thank you. Take care. God bless.